Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in this video, I would like to introduce you to the Love Child surfboard made by Modern Surfboards. This board right here is the latest addition to my quiver. I'm super excited about this board and its features. I can't wait to get it in the water and test it out. But since this board is brand spanking new and in tip top shape, I figured I'd do a quick walk around and first look on it because I thought maybe that would be helpful. When I was researching this board specifically, there was very little that I could find in terms of reviews online. Hence, I thought I'd put together this first look and hopefully help others decide whether or not a board like this would be of use to you. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs of the Love Child, which is a very beautiful surfboard, by the way. I mean, check it out, it's got some super kind of lava lamp type graphics on it. But more importantly, I think this thing is gonna revolutionize the way that I surf. So without further ado, let's hop right in and check out some of the features of this board. Okay, I already said it, but I'm gonna say it again. I absolutely love how this board looks. It's beautiful. Not only is it a cool, fun looking shape, but the art on it is just that, it's art. So you get a beautiful piece of art that also brings you pleasure in the form of surfing. It doesn't get much better than that. So this is a 6'8", that's six feet, eight inches long. It's 21 and three quarters inches wide, three inches thick, and it has 47.6 liters of volume. So for its shape and size, it's quite buoyant, and we're gonna get into that in depth a little bit later. At the tail, you have five fin boxes. That's four FCS, two fin boxes, and one standard center fin box. This gives riders lots of options for how to ride the Love Child. You can surf this board with just the center fin in, use it as a two plus one, or surf it as a quad. The nice thing about all of these fin boxes is that you don't need any tools to install the fins. The FCS two fins, of course, just click in. You don't need any screws there. And so you just literally just slide them in and press down, voila, the fins are in. As for the center fin, it comes with a screw that you can literally tighten with your fingers. So gone are the days when you go to the beach, you have all your gear, you're ready to go surfing, and then you realize, oh no, I forgot my tools. And now you're scrambling in the parking lot trying to make new friends from whom you can borrow some tools. It's worth noting that the Love Child comes with a nice fiberglass center fin. This is a really nice high-end fin that would cost you between 50 or 60 bucks if you were to buy it. So, you know, there's a little bit of savings right there. You don't need to go and buy your first fin. I have extremely high hopes for this board. This board is essentially a long short board or a short long board. So it takes those two factions of surfing, the long boarding and the short boarding, and it smashes them into one ripstick. If you look at the nose of this board, it's got a lot of surface area to it. It's very wide. This is gonna help you paddle easier in the water. Overall, this board maintains a long board profile, which is to say that it's very wide, it's very thick. This too is gonna translate to helping you paddle easier, helping you catch waves easier, and it's gonna hold your weight better. When you get over to the tail, things start to get really tricky. You'll notice that it starts to taper off really fast, and that's where the shortboard characteristics become apparent, because this strong taper is gonna enable you to really turn on a wave to maneuver the board with ease. Keep in mind, this is still very much a shortboard. It's only six foot, eight inches long, so by all definitions, this is a short board with long board characteristics. So Modern Surfboards claims that the Love Child is a versatile cruiser that's gonna double your wave count. And I fully intend to test that claim. Obviously, I haven't done it yet because this is a brand new board. It hasn't been in the water yet. But in the coming weeks, I'm gonna do just that. I'm gonna surf it a bunch. And then I intend to publish a full review. So stay tuned for that. I am most excited about this board because I'm what some people call a fair weather surfer. I live 90 miles away from the beach, which means that it's a two hour drive. And it also means that if I'm lucky, I get to surf once or twice a month. At this rate, I don't get a whole lot of practice in me. I don't get to spend many hours or days in a row surfing. And so my progression is stunted. Up until this point in my surfing career, I've predominantly been surfing on long boards and paddle boards because it's simply easier to catch waves on those things and thus more fun. But I can honestly say that I'm a little bit envious of short boarders because you know, they have those beautiful cutbacks and um, it's just easier to maneuver. So what this board promises is the ability to catch waves with ease and also to maneuver the board every which way. So, you know, theoretically, 
this board in the water will feel very much like a long board in that I'll be able to paddle into a wave with ease. Then when I catch the wave and stand up, it'll magnificently transition into a short board and give me the options of slashing up the wave every which way. And thus, you know, I'll have even more fun surfing than I already do. There's one more thing that I forgot to mention and that has to do with the surfboard's price. The Love Child retails for 550 to 600 bucks US. Uh, the price is gonna fluctuate depending on the size and the graphic of the board. So the longer the board, the more expensive it's gonna be. As always, we're dealing with the internet here, so prices can certainly fluctuate up or down, uh, but that's roughly what you can expect to pay. If you'd like to learn more about the Love Child, I'm gonna include a link to the surfboard in the description of this video, or you can simply just Google Love Child Surfboard by Modern Surfboards. So that basically wraps up what I had planned for this video. I hope you found it helpful. I have more videos coming out about this board specifically. So for more videos that are just like this, but completely different, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, Butenko Films.